Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Srivastav and today I am with another video on SQL joins. So this is one of the commonly asked interview questions and interview interviewer will definitely check your understanding on different joins. So in SQL we have four joins, inner join, left outer join, right outer join and we have full outer join. Okay. So let's understand we have one table EMP1 and another table as EMP2 in which we have columns like employee ID, employee name, department salary okay and in employee EMP2 table as well we have same columns right and intentionally I have kept few columns which are common in EMP1 as well as in EMP2 and few columns which are uh, not present in both the tables and null as well right so intentionally I have kept null as well to check the understanding that what will happen if we go for a join having null values in the uh, null values as a record okay so let's jump on a SQL server and see what is happening so this is our employee 1 table okay in which we have these values and in employee 2 we have this much of values okay so let's start with inner join select a dot star comma b dot star I'll keep uh, a and b as the alias name for emp1 and emp2 emp1 a inner join emp2 as b on a dot emp id equals to b dot emp id okay so first we will go for inner join then we will check for left right and then out full outer join so what will be the output of this inner join so as it as the name suggests the output will be the records which are common in both the tables right so as per this data these 101 100 101 102 103 employee ID are present in employee 1 as well as in employee 2 table right so this will be our output so let's execute this uh, what is it oh, incorrect syntax has EMP1 oh sorry the from is missing okay see we have only we have uh, only the common records right present in both the tables EMP1 and EMP2 having employee ideas 100, 101, 102 and 103 right now what will happen when we go for a left join okay so generally in left join what what happens record all the records from the left table will be as will come as output and only the matching records from the second table will come right so our output will be something like all the records from EMP1 and the only the matching records that means the matching records are 100, 101, 102, 103 right so let's execute this see we get all the records from left table that is EMP1 and only the matching records from right table that was EMP2 now here you need to pay attention on one of the very important thing that in the record we have null values as well right so we have complete set of null values in our system so in left join we are getting this as a output also right apart from all the records correct but in case of inner we were getting only the matching records right so now let's jump for right join what is coming right so what will happen in this case we will get all the records from the right table that is EMP2 and only the matching records from the left table correct so you can see all the records have with null as well coming in the output from the right table as well as 
only the matching records right and for rest there will be a null correct so let's check the output for full outer join as well full outer join so what will happen in case of full outer join we will get all the records from left as well as right table correct so this is our left table data this is our right table data this much and again this much right and for rest we will get null values correct now just to put focus on one important thing that what will happen if we have both the tables having values as null right so I intentionally I have created one table EMP null 1 and EMP null with these values so in EMP null 1 we have two null values and in EMP null we have just single null so this is generally asked in the interview that what will happen just to check your understanding what will happen when we go for a join having only null values right so I have created queries just for the sake of time so we will see what is the output Okay. so in case of inner join what will happen as we have seen earlier that in case of inner join we will not get any output right no output correct but in case of left join and all other join we will get the output accordingly right so here we have left uh, in left side we have EMP null uh, EMP null 1 table and uh, on the right side we have EMP null so what will be the output so we have two records right because we have two null in EMP null one table right correct in case of right join what will happen we will get only one record right because we have only one null record in EMP null and in case of full outer join also we will get all the records right so this is the output when we are joining on null values right hope you like the video please share like and subscribe thank you